centre racetrack as he heads up the zinc straight away once again. A bit of a battle for position number two and down the inside of Darrell Oliver. Oliver tries to shut the door on him. A little bit of push and shove for the National on the drive line and then repays the compliment. End of the hairpin, the juniors playing up side by side. Khan Tharagood and Aidan Rigby as they enter the hairpin corner once again. Mason Cameron keeps them at bay. We've got one lap to go. Can Mason be quick off the mark before we get to the witch's hat? But anyway, we'll leave that up to the stewards as once again, it's push and shove, can you believe? Have a look at Wade Murray diving into the hairpin corner. Be the next one back there in car number 56 as they go round Pagel's corner and Brad Yarrow drifts a little high on the racetrack. Race leader to Pagels for the first time and we've got a little bit of push and shove. Thomas Fuller ended up right up on the inside. That's side by side under the tower. Who's going to give way? Stoddy goes into the race lead. Thomas Fuller sure. into the hairpin with Kevin Ying getting it all out of shape as Sarah France goes in to position number three. Right now, Stewie Fawcett is the race leader as they go around Pagels for the second time and head down the back straight away to the middle edge. He just forgot to turn left and a little bit of not enough room. Wow. Side as they go around a uh, Pagels corner for the first time. Harrison Chown down on the inside of Andrew Pickering. Matt Clayton would be the next one. Brock Hancock, Riley Coots. Oh, a little push and shove and three wide around the top corner. And Riley Coots threads the needle as uh, Mitch Wogan has been dealt plenty down the back straight away. Goodness. The field as Ryan Kayla comes to grips with Callum Hall. Have a look at this. This is Street Stock. Who said you needed bar work? Instead, here comes Brock Atkins around the outside of Cameron Taylor up the uh, main straight. Still a better with Josh Arthur. Back then to the seven car of Andrew Beaton and at the back is Thomas Fuller. Bo Smithwick and Ash Graham as we go back to our lead pair. And he is definitely closing but there is a white flag waiting as he's roaring down the inside and into the race lead. And then turns it around in front of everyone. And hopefully, Adrian Stott, as uh, Daniel Henshaw worries a little bit about Adrian Stott and forgets about Joel Berkeley down on the inside of the 24 car. Oh, Brock Morris as Jordan Schultz goes round and round in the hip, in the... Uh, Pagel's corner as they head into the hairpin corner and Gary almost, almost gets the side of Tim Weir's car but in the process Charlotte Christensen into Aaron Sievers to have a look down the inside Brad Yarrow is on the outside as they go around the hairpin corner and it's Brad Yarrow making all the distance up on the outside of the racetrack, he's on the outside of Alan Jennings right now, Darren Sweden, who leads the way. Richard Cook tucked in there in position number two has got Thomas Fuller high on the track. Fuller gets the drive off the hip, leads them into the hip and then turns it around and we got... Wow. On at the front. He throws it in a little earlier this time. Thank you very much, says Jared Peacock. A little bit of push and shove, and Peacock goes into the race. Up the state once again for our race leader, Chris Pagel. A bit of a, a push and shove in the hairpin between Gary Harris when the light went green. Let's try this time. Tim Weir gets away, Justin Pickering. Brock Hancock would be the next one, Matt Clayton. Gary Cartwright in there with Brian Schultz. Sign to put as many cars between himself as Jordan Schultz overdoes things a little bit. Tim Weir around Pagel's corner, Justin Weir back to Harrison Chown. Probably the length of the back straight away. And Andrew Pickering in position, position number three in front of Andrew Pickering into the hairpin for the final time. 
and up the main straight away on Tim Weir. Justin Weir, Harrison Chown will get home in position number three. Junior New Stars off and running. He goes and down into the hairpin, being chased very quickly by the 22 car of a shell around Pagel's corner, down the back straight away. Aidan Rigby leads the way from car 22. The two is Charlotte Christensen, and down on the inside of Taron Francis, and check and flag time for Aaron Rigby. Aidan Rigby at one. Queensland production sedan title night at Corbett's Group. Railway Racing. And our friends from uh, Rockhampton have decided they will settle down. Logan won't want to move the car anywhere out of line. Here comes Mason Cameron up the inside. They're going to be side by side again at the top corner. Two Riley Coots in front of um, Josh Rigby. The next one is William Pagel and then Mitch Wogan. Wogan. Mason Cameron has chased him all the way around the hairpin for the last time. Put your hands together, folks. That is a great drive. Braith Hogan. Of Ryan Kayla. Second row. Gordon Modolo on the inside of the 79 car of Wade Murray as they're careering into the hairpin corner for the first time. And now as they head towards Pagel's corner and around Pagel's corner we've got Ryan Kayla down the inside. Callum all trying to close the door on him. It's not going to work. They go charging under the control tower. Can they pull it up at the hairpin? While all of this is happening, Ryan Kayla starting to put some distance between himself and the pursuing field as Ryan Kayla goes down under the control tower. Well, I think he's got some car problems. Wade Murray would be the last one running on the racetrack as the lead cars are coming up in teen. And check and flag time for Ryan Kayla. Gordon Madolo. Fletcher Smith completes the job. Watch for a green run off and racing Ty Francis. Glenn Pagel, Brad Yarrow tucked in there as well. Ben Stead, position two, Brad Yarrow, then we've got Ben Stead and Chris Ham. Then a battle roar between Brock Atkins on the inside. Next one, a bit of a challenge here between Ben Stead and Chris Ham. Ben Stead holds the inside of the racetrack and is able to uh, of Ty Francis. Back behind him still is Brad Yarrow and a big gap back then to Ben Stead. We've got our race leader in Glenn Pagel. Back to Selena Jennings who's got a lap down. Ty Francis holds on for two. Brad Yarrow not far away. Ben Stead has got Brock Atkins on the outside of him. And Atkins takes his way around the outsider. Underneath Alan Jennings he goes and up the zinc straight away, check and flag time. Glenn Pagel. Presentation just as soon as we can in front of the canteen after the 40 laps. Put your hands together folks, wave to them. They have had a great night of racing and this will be a fantastic event. 40 left, Stephen Freeman. Here we go, folks. Green one coming your way. We are racing. Have a look at it up the top corner with uh, Chris Pagel. Elbows out. Jared Peacock, that's the front five. Bit of push and shove as Chris Pagel. Up in corner. Chris Pagel right on his hammer and drives down the inside of him and into the race lead. So Chris Pagel takes over the race as Adrian Stott. But the one moving from the tail of the field is Rory Evans. So can he as Doug Rigby also moves up. Chris Pagel and up, zinc straight away. Stuart Fawcett back behind him. 
is uh, Josh Pang. They've dropped off. Aaron Sander gets back on the inside of Thomas Fuller as a change for position number four. As down on the inside, it's Jared Peacock. Peacock trying to up and muscle his way under Charles Who drifts a little high. Here comes Rory Evans. Pang tries to shut the door on him. This could be ugly up the top. Rory Evans won't go away. Josh cuts and push and shove around the top corner. But here he comes, folks. Put your hands together for the new Queensland champion, Chris Pago, Stu Fawcett, Josh Crane, Rory Evans, and I think you'll find maybe Daniel Henshaw got himself through. Josh Crane makes it into position number three. Rory Evans is four, and Daniel Henshaw is five. We've got a trophy presentation for you folks up in front of the main canteen.